Um, the the movie is about a repressed man played by Zachary Quinto and uh, the young masseuse that he hires to come to his house uh, to give him a happy ending. Come to find out it is his first gay experience which sets the unhinged young masseuse off on a quest. wild quest to give this repressed man everything he wants. And mm -hmm. bad things happen for good reasons mm -hmm. or good things happen for bad reasons. I play a repressed man. <laughs> uh, no, I play a guy called Gary who is a repressed man. He's been married to a, a woman for many years. They have two children together, and only recently in his life has he come to accept his identity as a gay man, um, just in time to realize that he doesn't have long left in the world and feels like he needs to... Um, honor this part of himself, but he doesn't really know how to do that. So he goes to um, the first place that he can figure it out and ends up meeting Cameron, uh, who is Lucas's character, and inviting him over for a an intimate massage, which I think by all accounts goes pretty awry pretty quickly. I play Cameron, that masseuse, that lovely guy who takes Gary on a wild night and kind of opens his mind up to what it means to live life to the fullest and do things for yourself. Do things that you want to do. He's a lover of life. He's a lover of, of fully embracing everything and every moment. And he teaches, um, he teaches Gary a lot of lessons along they the way. They teach each other a lot of they lessons. Teach a, they teach each other I a mean, lot. Ultimately. And that's the kind of the heart of the film. Um, there's a tremendous amount of uh, dark humor, which was great fun for us to all explore and and play. But I think underneath it, there is something actually more universal and more accessible and um, more about how opening oneself up to different perspectives and different experiences and different points of view can actually expand um, and, uh, and deepen one's appreciation for and engagement with life. Um, so that also is happening too, you know. It's I think the thing that drew me into the film was that it operates on a number of different levels, not just on the one that makes you laugh, which it certainly did when I read it. Um, but there's other stuff going on too. So I wrote this film with Phoebe Fisher. She um, is a dear friend of mine, and a couple of things were inspired. We were just writing a lot for fun, just on what pad, and um, just doing these little shorts. And we watched a dozen or more rom-coms one week and Pretty Woman stuck with us. And then we watched the documentary that was inspired of what the movie was originally going to be about. Um, and it was a lot darker and a lot crazier. And we thought, what if we made a version of this that's queer? We made it contained that takes place in one night and one house. And then this movie came to life, mm. was birthed, came out of the womb, right. this film. Um, I really needed a job, <laughs> desperately needed insurance, still needed again, in fact. Um, no, I uh, was sent the script. I always thought that I would write something myself to do as my first feature, but I read the first 10 pages of this, and I, I knew Lucas, and I knew that uh, his outrageous sense of humor, and this had that in spades and then some. And honestly, the 10 pages in, I was like, who the fuck is going to make this? <laughs> and then I was like, well, maybe I should make it. And I read further, and as Zach was talking about, there is a, there is a beating heart underneath all of the outrageousness that uh, is sort of first proposed when you start watching the movie. And um, I wanted to explore that, and I wanted to explore that with them, and I wanted to explore that in the feature. There's something so uh, fresh about um, their outrageous sense of humor mixed with this sort of like deeply feeling, wanting, unsettled, love that is sort of beating underneath it you get really great actors and you make them look gorgeous no i think that uh we wanted to we 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 i i told the dp i wanted to shoot it like lawrence of arabia essentially or like barton Fink. i just wanted it to be like really big really wide and sort of to have this epic um this epic cinematic quality because ultimately this is one night 
in Gary's life, in Gary and Cameron's life, but ultimately it is like the night in both of their lives. And I think it's like the night that they would remember forever. And when you think about those things in your memory, they ultimately feel a lot bigger than they were at the time. So I wanted to be able to convey that on screen. I think the, the movie is not moralizing. It's not, um, it's not figuring out the world for you. It's asking questions about the world for you. And I hope that it starts uh, a lot of conversations. I think it's meant to poke the bear. And certainly, mm. I think it does. It's fun. It's, uh, it's outrageous. It's, uh, it's unapologetic. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, I mean, when I read it, I felt strongly like it was nothing I'd ever seen really, you know, and, and, uh, and, I, and I was really hungry to do something like that, you know, something that I haven't done before, something that I haven't really seen. Um, yeah, it's, it's super gay, but it's also, I think, super human uh, in that. Because being super gay is super human. It is super human. Write that down. That's it. <laughs> you got your pull quote there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, it's I, actually an Avengers film. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to make something that was was also just entertaining, and and for me and Phoebe, we wanted to write something that we we wanted to just make each other laugh. But but I think writer elevated the script um, from the original draft into something that is a little bit more deeper and a little bit more, uh, it might be morbid at times, making you think about death and, and mortality, but also, I hate to break it to you, but we're all gonna die. So you better live your life to the fullest and you better embrace every moment because all that other shit doesn't really matter. And Oh God. Sorry, get is that getting too deep? Yeah, it's just too that's deep. What we're here for. Okay, let's, can like, we take that back? Yeah, we uh, we just want a really out. fun movie that's like fun and wacky and hot. We don't we don't need yeah. to I tried to be deep about it, and, you, and if you have other thoughts that's not on us yeah <laughs> that's on you. I also wanted a really safe place to put my niche reality TV um, yeah. pop culture jokes that no one will ever understand except for the people who really get it yeah if you get it you get it yeah.